bless his holy name, bless his name. Hallelujah, he's healed all our diseases. He has crowned us with love and kindness and tender mercies. Hallelujah, we can cast all our cares upon you, Lord, for you care so much for us. You have made us the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Your blessings they overtake us oh hallelujah your will is for us to prosper and be in hell even as our soul prospers hallelujah 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 let's be refreshed in the presence of the lord times of refreshing come from his presence and as we are gathered here together as a body of believers we're going to receive from the lord today Every person who came to Jesus in faith, they received. Whether it is for healing, for deliverance, when we activate our faith, we can believe to see those results. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for moving in this place. Thank you for signs, wonders, and miracles, Father. Lord, we thank you for refreshing the hearts of people here, Lord. Let them be revived, Father, to go and to carry this gospel to the nations, in their workplaces, in their families, Lord. We, we speak it, Father, that you have called us a chosen generation. And we can go forth, showing forth the praises of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every one of you online as well, join along as we sing and praise the Lord. We're going to sing songs on the blessing of the Lord. I love the book of Deuteronomy 28 that says that the blessings of the Lord will overtake us as we remember Him and follow His commandments. There is a blessing tied to obedience to the Lord. You know, many times in the Word you see stories of how people, when they sought the Lord first in their lives, the blessing followed them. Seeking the kingdom of God first yields amazing blessings. And we're going to sing some of these blessings in these songs today. And as you're singing them, declare them over your family, over your finances, that God's will is for you to prosper and be in health. So join along and let's praise the Lord together and worship Him. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus and we sing about your blessings in our life. Lord, we know it is your will according to 3 John 2. Above all, your will is for us to prosper and to be in health even as our soul prospers. And Lord, even as we renew our mind according to your word, we know that we are transformed and we are changed into your image. And Father, I thank you as we are singing today. Lord, your name is lifted up and also your blessings overtake us. As we sing your blessing, we believe that it follows us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sing together and praise the Lord. God is in this place. Let's say, Father, I thank you for your blessings. Thank you that your blessing overtakes me. Your will for my life is to prosper and be in health. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's thank the Lord for his blessings.
sin and my shame You took my sickness and healed all my pain Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord With a grateful heart With a grateful heart With a song of praise With an outstretched arm City. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. In the My, coming in is blessed. My coming in is blessed. 
My going out is blessed. I am the head and not the tail. Above only and not beneath. The blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow. Amen. Aren't you thankful for that? God's blessing never adds any sorrow. When He increases in your life, it's not going to be tied with sorrow where you feel like you're going to lose it. No, the word of God promises us when you seek the kingdom first that he only adds into your life. Even as that boy, when he came to the Lord and he gave his five loaves, it multiplied. Our God is a God of addition and multiplication. So we're going to continue singing of the blessing of the Lord in this next song. It's all about the blessing. Blessings when we go in, blessings when we come out. Amen. Let's praise him. Blessings and more blessings overtake me All His commandments I observe While my soul doth prosper in the knowledge Of Jesus Christ my Lord, the living Word Blesses 
is everything I set my hand to Your hands are blessed My enemies run from me seven ways The Lord has opened to me His good treasure But I observe and do what Jesus said That's what I came down and he removed that wall that was separating us, the wall of sin that was between us. The book of Ephesians 2 says that he has removed the wall of partition that separated us by his blood. And as we sing this, we are singing that scripture, he is our peace who has broken down every wall. There is no barrier between you and the Lord when you get saved. But before we come to Christ, that wall of sin is what separates us. But it's the blood of Jesus that we receive and acknowledge that completely breaks down that wall. That's why we can call God our Father. Because that barrier of sin no longer separates you. You can approach Him freely. And the scripture says that His throne is a throne of grace and a throne of mercy. Let's thank Him for the peace that He has given us. He 
worship Him in the spirit right now. concerned and worried about many things but one thing is needful that is what Mary has chosen to sit and listen to the word so when care comes into your mind you just say that scripture I cast all my care onto the Lord for he cares for me don't carry cares in your heart and in your mind you know the four grounds we see in the scriptures one of the things that stopped the word from growing in their heart was cares and worries, distractions of this life. But we can cast it onto the Lord. In fact, He's given us a promise in the book of Proverbs 16 to commit your works unto the Lord and your thoughts shall be established. So you just roll it onto the Lord and don't let care and worry sit in your heart. When you face a problem, a challenge because the world brings challenges but let the scriptures come out of your mouth and say that promise Lord I commit all my works to you I thank you for establishing my thoughts because your thoughts want to go here and there but when you roll that onto the Lord your thoughts they become stable they become firm and he has given you a promise that his will is for your soul to prosper. As your soul prospers, that's how you see the health and the blessing following. And so we are here today to renew our minds, to increase the wisdom of God into our heart, to make right decisions. And I believe even today as we're listening to the word, that you'll receive wisdom 
to know how to deal with those challenges that you might be facing today. And I want to pray and agree with you right now by faith that you have received wisdom to overcome every challenge and to know what to do. So as we're praying this, believe that when you're thinking about those challenges, as we say amen, believe that the word is working in that situation. Father God, I come in agreement. Lord, even as we as believers, Father, we are in the world, but we're not of the world. And I pray, Lord, for those who are facing challenges, issues, and problems. First of all, Lord, we cast all these cares onto you, for you care for us. And Lord, I pray that we can commit these works unto you, and our thoughts shall be established. You are the Prince of Peace, Lord. You said you keep us in perfect peace even as our mind is stayed on you. So Lord, I pray that even as they make those decisions, they will make it in a hurry, in a rush, or out of pressure. But Lord, I pray that they would follow the peace of God within that passes all understanding. And Satan, we come against you in the name of Jesus. We take authority over you right now burdens and cares you have no authority to be in our minds this is the mind of Christ we have a prosperous soul and we can know what to do because the Holy Ghost in us shows us things to come thank you for guiding us and leading us Lord into all truth we believe it and we speak it forth in Jesus name amen let's say I have the mind of Christ I have the mind of Christ. Amen.